You both said today that you love each other and I believe it, but I'm trying to tell you love is not enough for a successful marriage. There's so many other things that go in it. It's not just about you anymore. Here is today's case. He promised that we would be back in Florida after we got situated here for no longer than a year. So what's the plan? Are you going back to Florida as, as promised? I'm going to stay here in Georgia. Your Honor, he speaks to me. That's the only way I feel she'll listen. I'm just not convinced that he should be getting the cold shoulder. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Villanueva versus Aldrich. Thank you, Juan. Rachel Villanueva. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Derek Aldrich. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. You say the two of you have been together for 13 years. You're having a number of problems in the relationship. And you are suing for $3,400. You say he owes you for moving expenses. Yes, Your Honor. Give me some background, ma'am. Tell me what's going on. Your Honor, I feel bamboozled and hoodwinked. I've been with Derek for 13 years, and he promised that we would be back in Florida after we got situated here for no longer than a year. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen anything, no progress towards moving to Florida at all. And why do you want to go back to Florida? Well, that's where my family is, and that's where I have family. Here in Georgia, I'm, I'm in the woods. I don't know anybody here. Mm -hmm. It's him, and that's it. Well, Mr. Aldrich, yes, did you Honor. bamboozle her, as she's claimed? No, I didn't really bamboozle her, Your Honor. What I... do you say is going, happening with the pets? She has, ooh, seven dogs, two cats. And she spends money on dog food, toys, cat food. And we have more cat food and dog food than we have human food in our house. Is this a video of your pets, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. I, I do have a video of my pets and where I sleep at and hmm. where he sleeps at. Why do you have so many dogs? Well, Your Honor, um, I believe it started off with one and because my, as my kids got older and moved off to... They became my kids, and... I understand that, but you, you getting real close to Noah's Ark level. Yes, I am. Of animals in but your home. at the same time, though, I take care of them, and I still manage to set aside <laughs> for what I want. <laughs> Two of every kind. Yes, ma'am. I, I want I, I just need the, the lions house. and the tigers. But what's happening? Because you say you're not allowed to sleep in the bedroom anymore, because why? Well, because of the cats and the dogs. I have no room to sleep in the bedroom. I want to cozy up to my wife. So you kicked him out of the bedroom? For what reason? I don't understand. Well, because I, I just feel that it's not even worth my effort anymore to try to save the relationship. Why? I, I just feel like there... He lied. He lied to me, first of all. I, about I'm, the move? About moving. And that's the only reason why I came to Georgia was to build up some income and move back to Florida with my family. You, you don't think it's a little harsh to kick him out of your bedroom because and move in all of your fur babies, as you call them? You well, Your Honor, harsh? I think it's harsh that he lied to me after 13 years that I've given him. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, I, I'm hurt as well. Mm -hmm. But it's like one lie after another, and we can't come to an agreement. I mean, so what's the point? I tried to uh, bring romance back into our relationship. I had uh, bought rose petals. Was this, was this after you got kicked out of the room? Yes, yes. Tell me what you did. I bought rose Try petals. Try to make your way back in there. And put it all, put them all over the bed. Mm -hmm. I even made her a bubble bath. Mm. And I lit candles all around the tub. She came in the house and she went to the bathroom, locked the door, so I couldn't get in. And she took her bath, and then once she came out, she went to the bedroom, locked the door, mm. so I couldn't get in. Mm. And once she did open the door, the dogs were eating all the rose petals. Oh, no. Yeah. We've been together for 13 years, 13 wonderful years. Mm -hmm. And I really love this woman, mm -hmm. but as far as me owing her the uh, $3,500 or $3,400, whichever one she said, I did tell her that I would give her half of the money. And I would have given her half until this coronavirus came up. 
and I lost my job, mm -hmm. and I don't have any other income. Right. Yeah. And where'd you work? In catering? Yes. So yes. the catering business has definitely shut down yes, during this time period. Right. Yeah. You, you, the moving expenses you're talking about, because you were living in Florida, mm -hmm. you moved to Georgia for work. Yes. Right? To find work. You thought it'd be easier to find work, but the agreement was that you would move back to Florida. Yes, Your Honor. So the $3,400 is for the moving expenses because you say that Mr. Aldrich now wants to stay in Georgia permanently, correct? Yes. Yes, yes correct. He lied because he hasn't been saving any money towards moving to Florida. But he's not working because of the pandemic, right? I'm not working either, Your Honor, but we do get unemployment right now. Before that, previous to corona, we were working, and he's, he hasn't put a dime towards his savings. And I, I just feel like I'm working and saving money. Well, what is he spending his money on? I have no idea. Food. He's always buying food and overspending and just ridiculous. Are you not saving anything? Well, Your Honor, I can't save any money because of the coronavirus and... Even from un unemployment, you're not well, saving? Well, I was, I was paying... I pay the rent. Okay. I pay the light bill. Okay. I pay the car note. That's I pay insurance. You know, so... He's all paying all those expenses? Mm -hmm. Your Honor. Is he? He's paying some expenses. His expenses. But unemployment is not a lot of money. Yes, Your Honor. So, and if he's paying all of those expenses, it's, it's probably really difficult to save right now. I think you have to be a little bit more patient in, in terms of saving when he can work again and make the money that he was making before when you were catering, right? Yes. Well, Your Honor, he could be saving money if he stopped spending so much money on food unnecessarily. Well, what kind of... Uh, it's what, just the Is he going to John George? Like, where is he eating? He's mm -hmm. buying food to cook at home. Instead of two steaks, he'll buy eight steaks. Instead of two potatoes, he buys eight potatoes. It's just us two. Are you doing that, sir? I'm used to cooking. I'm used to cooking for a large portion of people. But it, when, it's on, when it's only two of you, you cannot make the reduction. The math has changed. You can't make the reduction from eight to two steaks? Well, you know, and I practice recipes. You know, I try new recipes. Because that's your line of work. So yes. you're continuing to, to build on your craft. Yes, indeed. He owes you for moving expenses. First month's rent, last month's rent, security deposit. He didn't contribute anything? He didn't anything? contribute to anything, Your Honor. You did agree to pay for half of the move, and you haven't done that. I understand you have changed your mind, but it may cost you the relationship. So after 13 years, the two of you have lived in Georgia for how long, ma'am? Um, since 2018. So for almost two years? Yes, ma'am. And the plan was you would live in Georgia for how long? For a year and move back to Florida. So you've kicked him out of the bedroom and he doesn't sleep in there anymore because well, he lied to you about this move? Yes, and not only that he lied to me about the move, he also lied to me about finding work in Florida so we could move to Florida and establish you know, our income back up. He's only been looking for jobs in Georgia. So what's the plan? Are you going back to Florida as, as promised? No, ma'am. I'm going to stay really? here in Georgia. In order to uh, find a good job, you have to be bilingual. And How long did you live in Florida before you moved to Georgia, sir? About two years. So, but you had a job the entire time where you worked in catering in Florida, am I correct? Construction. And I'm a little too old for construction. They had me digging ditches. And... and so, in Georgia, you were able to find work in the catering business. Yes, yes, ma'am. And until COVID happened. Yes. And that shut down. But it's your belief that when things get better, you'll go right back to work. Exactly. And that's why you... And you do not believe... Because catering is something you can do anywhere. Well, you don't believe you can find the same kind of job in Florida? No. So, not... you've changed your mind. I... And yeah. although he made the promise that two of you would move to Georgia for a year, you've changed your mind and you do not want to move back to Florida. No, ma'am, I don't. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. So what happens if she leaves and she says, well, I'm going back to Florida? What do you do then? Well, I'm going to beg her to stay. And if, and if that <laughs> and does not work, if begging does not work yeah. and cooking eight steaks at a time does not work, what is your next move? Well, my next move is to try to convince her I'm going to get a house. I have a ring on layaway for her. I'm going well, to try to marry her. Would you accept that proposal, ma'am? Not under the conditions of staying in Georgia. I will not. 
So you're not going to stay. I will so not. have we've reached an impasse on where we want to live. Yes, Your Honor. And it doesn't appear to be there's going to be a lot of compromise on that. So what are you going to do? Well, you know, I'm going to work hard, stay here in Georgia, buy a house, and then maybe she after she sees that Florida is not going to work for her, mm -hmm. maybe she'll come back. But I'm going to be a distant lover, call her every day and try to convince her to come back. Wow. There's no budging on the, on the location. And no, you're going you're back? He lied to me once, twice. Well, I don't know that he necessarily lied to you, Miss uh, Villanueva. I believe that when the two of you moved to Georgia, his intent was to go back. I think that he found work that he liked in the state of Georgia, and he wants to stay now, so he changed his mind. And that's an issue. For, for you, because you do want to move back to Florida where your family is, and, and that's your right as well. But you're probably going to have to be in a long-distance relationship if that's the case. You say that he owes you for moving expenses. Tell me about that. Well, Your Honor, um, I had a lawsuit because um, I got in a car accident. Mm -hmm. So I used that money to move here so we can work and get our stuff together. And so most of the money went to this house. Furniture. The house that you bought? You no, bought we're home? renting. You rented a home. Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. So um, all my money went in. First month's rent, last month's rent, mm -hmm. security deposit. He didn't contribute he anything? He didn't contribute to anything, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. um, the van we drive, I put the deposit down on that. The furniture, I bought all of that. I furnished three bedrooms, living room, kitchen, everything. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't helped me with anything. He hasn't bought anything for the house. But Every the $3,400 for moving expenses, what is that for? It was for the $3,400 is because he, he told me he would give me half to, you know, to cover the house because we were sharing it. Mm -hmm. So he would give me half and I haven't seen anything. When, and when did he tell you that? Two years he, ago? He told me when we moved into this house. Did you tell her that, sir? Yes, I did. I told her, I, you know, I would give her half. Half of what? Half of the $3,400. Okay, so, but, but you're suing for the full amount? I'm, full, I'm suing for the full amount because he lied. He hasn't even attempted to give me half. So I'm to the point now, one lie after another, I just want to go back to Florida. What's the, what's the other lie? Everything he lies about. He lied about saving. He's not saving anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever money I spend, I, I still have a savings account, though. Mm -hmm. So... It's like, what I spend is my money. It's not hurting him. Mm -hmm. He's changed his mind about this move. And I just, I hate that this is the issue that's coming between the two of you after being together for so long, for 13 years. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. And I Derek's starting to bark at me now so he can get attention. And that's just kind of ridiculous. He feels that if he acts like one of my fur babies, maybe he'll get attention, but... <laughs> I don't know how ridiculous that is, according to everything I've heard today, because they get a lot of attention in your home, apparently. Your Honor... He speaks to me. <laughs> Come on, really? No. That's the only way I feel she'll listen. No. If I don't Scooby talk. Scooby-Doo treats all. No. I think he's just trying to create a find a way to communicate with you and create some levity in the household. This has been a stressful time for a lot of people. Oh, Both yeah. of you have been out of work mm -hmm. during this, so you've been home a lot. You've been trying to find a way to how you're going to spend, spend your time. You're managing. You're not really happy in Georgia. You want to go back to Florida. And I think he's been trying to, to do things to try to maintain a connection with you. Mr. Aldrich seems like a really nice man. I'm just not convinced that he should be getting the cold shoulder that he's, that he's getting from you because he changed his mind and he doesn't want to move back. I know that's a big deal to you because your family's in Florida, and it's a, not an issue that the two of you want to compromise on, and you've reached a bit of an impasse. Mm -hmm. But, you know, times are really different right now. It's really hard to save mm -hmm. when you're on unemployment, and everyone's response and reaction to what's happening in the world. You know, I tell people, this is not a vacation. People are trying to figure out what to do with their time, how things are going to work when life is back to normal one day. 
And a lot of people are making changes and moves just based on the fact that they've had to sit back and think about what they really want to do with their lives and with their time now. And, and he's changed his mind about this move. And I just, I hate that this is the issue that's coming between the two of you after being together for so long, for 13 years. She's really bad with finances as well. I'm not the only one that spends money. I have a, a chart here to show you just about what she spends within a month. Okay, let me see your chart, sir. Okay. She spends $1,000 once a month going to Florida, the 700 round trip ticket to Florida, and coupon. She's a coupon junkie, and she's not good at it. Well, she, okay, so she's spending $400 a week? On coupons, with on, coupons. Okay. Well, you're, yes. not, you're supposed to be saving money when you're couponing, right? Exactly. Your Honor, I save money. I have money saved in my savings account. What I put in my checking account is what I can spend towards bills. Mm. Your Honor, he has not, nothing saved. So whatever and, money I spend, mm -hmm. it's, it's money that I have to spend for the... You're spending $300 a month on, on dog food and toys? $300, $300 a week? $300 a week. No, Your Honor. It, it might be somewhere around there. But... Well, that's what you need to be using the coupons for. Yes, $300 a week, a week. Is, a lot of, is a lot of money. It is, Your Honor. My dog just had puppies. So that's where it got expanded. So that arc is, is, is expanding. Well, no, the puppies I me. sold them, I just kept one. She puts them over me. Here's what, yes, that is happening right now because she feels betrayed by you mm -hmm. because she feels that you lied to her because you reneged on your promise to move back to Florida. So based on her feeling of betrayal, she has essentially checked out emotionally of their relationship, which is why you're not in the bedroom anymore, which is why she does not care about a bubble bath or roses or any of those things. She does not even respond to the dog language that you're using mm -hmm. to talk to her. She is investing her time and energy in getting her love from her fur babies, exactly. as she calls them. So that's what's happened. You are ultimately going to have to choose between your relationship and where you want to live. And I'm not saying that that choice is an easy one, but from what you've told me today, right now, as it stands, it is you're choosing your location, where you want to live, rather than your relationship. Because the plan was from the very beginning, Mr. Aldrich, to move back to Florida. I understand you have changed your mind, yeah. but from everything I've heard today, mm -hmm. it may cost you the relationship. But... You did agree to pay for half of the move and you haven't done that. So she's suing for $3,400 and I know you're suing for the full amount because that is what people do when they come into court and they are upset with their significant other. They sue and they want everything that they owe and what they don't owe to. But the agreement was that he would pay for half. So I'm going to order him to pay $1,700, which is half of the cost of the move. But the decision about your relationship is now in your hands. Good luck to both of you. Thank you, Your Honor. I love Judge Faith's verdict. I believe she did the right thing by um, telling him to pay me half because that's only fair. Well, the verdict, I think, was unfair because, you know, that's me giving her 1700 is helping her move away from me. So I think it was unfair. The 1700 I don't think you're gonna get from me. I don't think you're gonna get 17 cents from me. I wanted the 3,400 in full, but I'll take the 1,700 and move to Florida with my fur babies and my children.